get to the story, it was funny because, um, I mean, you know me, I'm pretty solid, you know, like yeah. emotionally pretty locked up and like things don't affect me, you know, I was, I was getting ready to call you and, uh, I was, I was felt like, I felt like nervous, you know, cause mm -hmm. you're the first person where I verbally said it out loud and like the, had the whole situation. Um, and I was nervous, you know, and so we, we had a conversation, we talked and then I hung up the phone with you. And then like my heart started racing really fast, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, I was freaking the fuck out. Like I, I had never felt like that in, in, in my life. My heart was racing. I was freaking out. I thought I was, I thought I was sick, you know, like every, all these worst scenario things were happening in my head and, um, like I really don't know what happened. Like we went to a donut place and I think maybe I had a sugar rush. Right. But then like these nerves kind of, and I explained it to Dunya, I explained it to my brother. Um, and my brother's just like, dude, you're having an anxiety attack. Yeah. It's a panic attack. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, no, like I don't, I don't do that. You know? And he's like, no, like <laughs> you're having, I have those all the time. You're having, you're having a panic attack. And, uh, I had never felt that in my life. This was after you called me or whatever? Right after I called you. Like I sat and I, I was laying in bed and I just like shut down. Like I was just sitting there and I was trying to like control myself, you know, and mm -hmm. I couldn't, like I couldn't, I was cold. I was shivering, you know, like this, these physical things that I had no control over <laughs> and it's never happened to me in my life. Like I've never not had control like that, you know, these physical things were happening and, uh, I just couldn't believe it. And when my brother, like, after I started talking to my brother about it, uh, like, I, I started to calm down a lot, you know, because he's just like, dude, you're having a panic attack. I have those all the time. It was like, just like telling me about it, you know? And it's not like I didn't know that these things happened. My mom actually had panic attacks a lot, you know, and he brought that up. And, uh, and like, I, it didn't, you know, hit me. But, yeah. dude, I've never experienced anything like that. Do we talk about my panic attacks when I <laughs> used to have them? I, I don't think, think so. Well, first of all, welcome to your 30s. Because I think for men, especially 30s, is like the... It's like really typical for men our age to get panic attacks. And I think the number one, at least for me, that I've noticed or from what people tell me is like when you have absolutely no control of what was going... For one, what was going on you don't know how you're feeling and then you just you just felt trapped you know and the first few times when i had mine i had no idea what it was and i was just dealing it alone and i was like what the fuck is going on like it felt like i was gonna die it felt like i want to have a heart attack like it was weird mm -hmm. it was a lot of things that was going through my head you know negative things and do i'm telling you at least it it might happen again, it might not. So it just really depends on the, where your perspective is right now. But it happened to me a few times. But I'm telling you, once you sit in it, like you just, instead of avoiding, just sit in it and then talk yourself out of it. Like, dude, you're going to be, you're going to be so much stronger. And it, 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 it almost like gives you that adrenaline and uh, just kind of gives you a, a perspective, you know? And yeah. um, I mean, yeah, man, like when you, that's the fear, right? When you don't have absolutely no control over how you're feeling and what was going on, you just like, you didn't, and I can speak for myself, you know, like it just, when it happened to me, it felt like I was losing everything. Like I was just like, I was losing myself. I wasn't happy. Like it was a, a lot of shit what was going on that I didn't <clears throat> take the time to ask myself. Like, it's almost like it just happened. Like my body and my mind was like, Hey, you need to address this now. Yeah. Guess what? It's going to happen now. <clears throat> you know, what's crazy is that like, it kind of gives me, it, it really humbled me, you know, because, because I mean, in, in the past more than now, now I'm a little bit more understanding, but in the past things like that, were always like, Oh, that's like, like the, like, that's just, that's pussy shit, mm -hmm. you know. Like mm -hmm. that's like why would you lose control like that, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously, as I'm getting older, I'm I'm becoming more understanding of things like that. And uh, when that hit me, though, it humbled the fuck out of me, dude. Mm -hmm. And I didn't 
I just couldn't control anything. And in my head, it was funny because I was sitting there and I was like, all right, let me, let me go into meditation mode. I'm going to lock this shit up. But then I was like, oh dude, this is COVID. I got COVID. Like I'm shivering, you know, like <laughs> this is it. Like this is it. It hit me finally, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. like, and Dunya was at the grocery store. Yeah. So I was, I was all, doing this by myself alone. Yeah. And she came home and, uh, and I told her, I was like, Hey, can you get a, a thermometer on your way home? And uh, or is that what you call it when it's not for like food? A thermometer still? When it's not food? What do you mean? Like, because a thermometer you use for food, but like the one that you put in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, like, a thermometer. That's still, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I told her to get one, and then she's like, starts kind of getting nervous, you know. And I'm like, yeah, it's like what fine. the fuck is wrong with yeah, you? I, yeah, it's fine. Just get one. And then so she did. Um, my t- my temperature was normal, <laughs> you know. Like after I had that science though, like it's it's like snapped. I was like, oh, yeah. okay, all right, we're okay, no fever, you know, but. I was, it was, it's insane, man. But I just did don't it, understand it? So when you were trying to lock it up, did it just get worse, or was it just still lingering? So I, I, like I said, I have pretty good control. So I was, I was feeling all the physical, right, in my head. I was thinking scientifically. I was diagnosing myself, right? It's stupid, but like, I was like, all right, do I have a fever? When's the last time I got exposed? You know, how could I have gotten exposed? Yeah. Uh, what else is going on? And then I, I was thinking I was, I was this stupid part of me was just thinking, oh, this is the COVID, right? Yeah. But then the logical side was like, dude, you just lost Calliope. You know, you just told Xander, this is the first time you've talked about it. I was going through it logically. Like yeah. you're just kind of freaking out. But then I was like, but these are fi- physical manifestations and I don't do physical manifestations, you know? And that's why, like, dude, it seriously, like, buckled me to my knees, m- metaphorically, because that was so humbling for me to have that experience. And, like, I just don't do that. And it just, it was so physical. I was, like, physically shaking, you know? Yeah, I think you're, uh, it sounds like your bottle was full and then that cap just couldn't hold what you were going through. 